hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks for coming back if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a birthday flyer like this so before any further ado let's get started so i'm bringing a guideline to this middle horizontal and vertical after then you draw a rectangle at the center then i'm going to apply this color for identification then apply vertical and horizontal alignment so that the rectangle you draw will be positioned at the center of your guideline then after then I'm going to draw another rent angle I'm also using that rent angle as my guideline then you drag it down Then apply this color so one thing you should take note is that all the designing i'm going to apply on this it will be below the rectangle at the top then duplicate it or you press ctrl plus j using your keyboard now you drag this one back then reduce the size duplicate it again then reduce the size you can use your arrow key to drag it down or you use your mouse okay now i'm going to draw another rent angle sorry i mean a triangle then copy this color code here then this is the same color I'm using so the color code here has been provided so that you can make use of it Then you reduce the size and rotate it. Then make sure it's in line together with your rectangle. Then you can reduce it or you leave it. then select this one and drag it up then click on this one duplicate it reduce the size by holding your shift key Now select the two. I'm going to give it a number so that I can quickly identify them.
so the wideness is okay like this okay so i want it to be in line with the rent angle then also drag this one down make sure you hold your shift key while doing this then i'm going to draw another rent angle always remember that Anything you draw here will be at the back of this rectangle. Then I'm going to apply this color. Then apply a round corner shape. It's alright. Then rasterize it. So I'm going to select my lesser tool or you can use this market tool then you select and delete so I will, prove, I will keep it at that position so that there will be a little distance between this one and the rest then apply this color no first i'm going to bring it down now I'm going to apply this color so this gradient color you are seeing here these are the two color code then you click OK then you duplicate it again or press ctrl plus J using your keyboard Then you drag this one down. Then apply this color. What I'm going to do, I will exchange the color. Okay, now I have exchanged the color. The sky blue should be at the top Why? this one should be at the bottom then duplicate it again then hold your shift key while you drag it down all right Then I'm going to draw another rent angle. Then apply this color. You can still use the same gradient color. So anyone you want, you can use. Then you duplicate it again. So now I have to rasterize it, select your market tool, then you delete, Ctrl plus D to deselect, then I'll position this one around the end. So position it this way. Hold your shift key while you drag it down to reduce it.
then select this one you bring it to this position select it then you rasterize it select your marquee tool again then you delete it Ctrl plus D to deselect all right then again we are going to use our pen tool this time around then I'm arranging it first and give it a number so that I can easily identify them okay now select your pen tool then you click then you click around here again then you join it together so you have this color now reduce it so that it will be in line with the rectangle below Alright, so I group them together. Then I give it a number. So, and also draw another rectangle. Then apply this color. Then duplicate it or Ctrl plus J using your keyboard. Then separate them. Then hold your shift key while you drag it down. Then duplicate it again. You drag it down while holding down your shift key. Then use your arrow key to bring it down. So in this case, I'm going to change the color of this one to the sky blue and the second one. Then I'll group this one, then type top because this one will be at the top of the rectangle. Then bring this one. So this one is at the back. Okay, group it and apply a number for identification. Then I'm going to draw another rectangle again, which is going to be bigger. Apply the gradient color.
then you drag it behind now convert it to smart object why i convert it to smart object because i want to apply a clipping mask inside Then this rectangle now, I'm going to duplicate them, apply white color. So this one now, I will bring it at the top first for now so that I will see what I'm doing. So you duplicate it, continue duplicating it. Okay, now I'm going to select all the duplicates and merge them together. Then reduce the wideness. Then drag it up here. Now you can drag it down. Then rotate it. Okay, then apply your clipping mask. Now you can group them together and apply a number. So then you draw a short rectangle here. Also apply your gradient column. Then draw another rectangle. So instead of duplicating it, so what I do is to duplicate from the short one, then I bring it over here. Without duplicate the long one and reduce the size. So you can see I reduced the wideness of this one a little bit. Then you group them together. Then apply a number for it. Also draw another rectangle. Apply the same color.
okay so as you can see then i bring it to equal why i reduce this one then duplicate it again hold your shift key while you drag it up now use your mouse or your arrow key any one you can use Then I'm going to draw another rectangle again. So I'll leave this one at the top for now so that I can see what I'm doing. Then duplicate it. Duplicate it again. All right. Now, I'm going to merge them together. Then I'll position it here. Then drag it below. Apply a number. So what you should know is that the one I made just now, I did not apply a clipping mask, so it's at the top of it. Then apply your sky blue color. Increase it a bit. Select your pen tool. Then I'm going to draw something like triangle. Then you join them together. Then apply color to it. Now you group them together. Apply your number for the identification again. Another rectangle here. This one I'm going to apply the gradient color. Then Ctrl J or you duplicate it using your mouse. Use your mouse to bring it down or you use your arrow key. Alright, so now you can apply any adjustment or changes you want to make. So that is what I'm trying to do now to check the area that needs to be adjusted or any area that needs to be changed so basically here I'm going to apply a white color so this is the first one so now group all of them together and rename it So here now, what I'm going to do is to rotate it this way. So, then I'm using the guideline now to centralize it. Then drag it up. Okay. 
So now what I did after this one now, then I'm going to bring my image or before then I'm going to draw a rectangle. Then now increase the stroke so you can increase the stroke number depending what you want. Then convert it to smart object. So now I'm going to draw a cycle. Then apply a black color. Then position it at the back of that rectangle. Then go to filter, blow, apply a Gaussian blow. So, okay, like this. Then reduce the opacity. So, as you can see now, you can see that the rectangle we have here now pop up which you can see it very clear so then what i did is to apply a layer mask on that line there then i'm going to clean some part of this stroke line So because there are some parts I don't want the stroke to cover so that is why I have to clean some part of it then and leave the rest then okay now select the rectangle at the top then you bring your image import it to photoshop then reduce the size then i'll leave it this okay leave it like this it's okay i think I prefer it this way so if you want your own to be more than this then you can apply any changes of your choice so I'm doing adjustment because I want the rectangle there to show properly Now hold your control key while you click on this layer so you can see a line there rotating on the rectangle then you apply your layer mask to that image then you change it to white that is the four color then select your brush while you clean this up then erase all this area now the part of your picture that has been lost before now you can see it then you group them together so we are going back to our background now so import this to photoshop then you scale it out okay So 
I think it's okay like this. Then now import this design. Reduce the size. Then you position it around here. Then duplicate it again. Now I will drag this one up here. So what I did there is to apply a new layer mask. I want to apply the design. Why it did not appear is because the color is white. So I have to change it to black. Then place another one here. Then another one here. And another one I'm going to place it around here. Okay. Then place it here, it's okay. Alright. So reduce the opacity. So okay like this. Okay. Now the next thing now is to bring your test. So these are the fonts used in this tutorial and the test. So you can check under the description below to make use of it. Then make it bold. Then apply a drop shadow. That is if you wish. It's not necessary, but if you wish, you can apply a drop shadow. Then click OK. Now copy your wishes. So these are the birthday wishes. You drag your test to then Ctrl plus V to paste the one you copy. Ctrl plus A to align them and change the fonts. Make it bold. All right. So now remove that boldness then and close the space a little all right
Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font color to this color here by copying the color. Now here you can type your name or your company name, organization name. So whatever name you want to use, you can type it here. Then you reduce the font size. Now drag this one down. So now you can group it. To my fans, I use To my friends, I used two body to optimize my channel. So if you like it, check the link below in the description and make use of it. Download it, sign up for two body, then and make use of two body. It's a great application. So here yeah, I'm doing some adjustment. Thank you so much for watching. So if you like this video, remember to share, then comment and like it. And the most important thing, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys.